Welcome back YouTube and today we're here to talk to the youth So right now I want to talk to my younger people um, As well as some of my older people Because you know some some of you guys may not have learned this lesson yet You know um, maybe you know life hasn't shown you this lesson yet Maybe you're not aware um, You know maybe you've been incarcerated I don't know what it would be that could potentially you know cause you but everybody has life lessons at different points in life but i just want everybody to understand this life lesson right here okay it's not about what you own it's about what you control and what you leave when you die once again it's not about what you own it's about what you control and leave when you die. <laughs> okay, so this brought this is brought to me um, from a friend of mine on Facebook. Um, I wouldn't even say friend, but acquaintance, someone, someone who I went to high school with. Uh, you know, on Facebook they call me friends. Um, and they made this post, and it was quite ignorant, basically stating. I paid for my iPhone cash, so since I paid for my iPhone cash, I bet no one else can steal this post. No one else can say that they paid for their iPhone cash. They're financing theirs. First off, who cares? Okay, like, okay, you paid for your phone cash. Who cares? Um, for one, A phone's not even a large transaction. My phone bill is bigger than most people's rent bill. You know, so it's like, to say like what is that to brag about that's ignorant you know it's it's really ignorant to just sit back and say oh well, my phone bill is this high or oh well my i paid for this phone cash whatever no one cares okay purely straightforward no one cares sorry to break that to you but no one absolutely no one cares all right beyond no one caring when you die no one cares a phone is a depreciating asset this is probably the dumbest thing it's a low cost low value depreciating asset so to say i spent twelve hundred dollars cash on a phone is probably about the dumbest thing out there Especially when you don't own a car cash, you don't own a home cash, you don't own land cash, you don't own any other assets. It's just, oh, I own my phone. Who cares? How many phones I got? Here's two iPhones. Here's another Android phone. Another Android phone in my glove box. iPad over there. You know, who cares? Who cares? I can I can go on and on, but who cares? When you leave, it's about the legacy that you leave. You own a phone that you paid for cash, okay? Well, what are you doing with that money that you're saving every month for not paying for the phone cash since the interest is ignorant? Do you have a life insurance policy? Are you going to leave money to your family? Or are they going to have to scrape up money to cremate you? Who cares about your phone? Do you own a vehicle that at least if something was to happen to you, your family would still have transportation? Do you own a business that you can leave to your family that's going to return them income? Do you have stocks? Do you have anything in a trust? Do you have a home? Do you own land? Do you own anything that if you were to pass away today, tangible that you could give to your family that would be of an asset because a phone no one cares i'm sorry when when you die what do people say who's getting the house who's getting the insurance policy who's getting the car no one says oh can i have mom's phone who cares people go for mom's purse before they go for mom's phone people go for dad's Go for dad's boots before they go for dad's phone. His his quarter jar. They take dad's phone. They take it to the, the phone store. They pull off the pictures, if that, and then the phone gets thrown away or disappears. 
Phones don't even hold sentimental value to most people. Who cares? These are the things that you need to think about when you are making purchases and when you are making public comments. Always think about your public image as well as how intelligent something sounds before you post it on social media. You post, I pay for my phone cash. Great. No one likes it. Keep scrolling. Who cares? You post, I paid for my phone cash. I bet no one else can say that. Still no one cares. But you might get a little bit of attention if that's what you're looking for. You post, I just bought a house cash. You're going to get a lot of responses. You're going to get a lot of people commenting. You're going to get a lot of congratulations. But I paid for my phone cash. Congratulations. Nobody cares. Sorry. They're going to keep scrolling. You know, so my thing is please stop wasting your time on things that no one cares about. Please stop wasting your time and embedding your time into things that are irrelevant and things that aren't going to make a difference when you're not here. And invest your time in a legacy. Yes, I have multiple phones, but they have a purpose. I have a personal phone, which doesn't make me any money. How typically, however, it does at times. And most people have a personal phone. And then I have multiple business lines. So those are the purposes for having a, another phone. Now, with having multiple phones comes multiple bills. Then you have to be able to justify, is this phone worth me having? Does this business support me having a static line just for this business? Or should I be running that through my personal phone? Or what should I be doing here? Those are the types of decisions that you need to be making. Maybe I don't need a $1,000 phone for my business. Maybe I only need a $20 phone for my business. But who even cares what phone that I have as long as I pick it up and answer if we're doing business? Generally, no one cares. You know, those are the things that you need to think about. When it comes down to your home, you pass away, you leave a home to your family, and it's worthless, and... It causes them problems. They can't rent it out. They can't fix it. They can't live in it or they don't want to. And guess what? It still didn't matter. So what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is start focusing on things that are tangible, that are going to allow you to build a legacy for yourself and your family. Think about your insurance policies. Think about your homes. Think about your actual assets. And stop pouring so much money into cars and phones and all these other things that don't matter. Get a car that runs and drives will get you and your family from point A to point B. That's what's going to matter at the end of the day. Because that is going to be what changes your imprint. Rather than, oh, I paid $50,000 $50,000 for a car and financed it and passed away and didn't have a light, enough life insurance to cover it. So it went back. And now my family doesn't have a car at all. These are the things that you should be thinking about, weighing out, and actually putting your time and effort into. So with that being said, everyone, thank you all. I'll see you guys.